Protus right here. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's try it again. Protus. Yes, yeah, so a Protus. All right. So uh, yeah, for further information, like always, you can go to uh, the Protus or Protistology. Yeah, Protistology uh, individual Wikipedia articles. So uh, Protus are eukaryotic organism or are or you, eukaryotic organisms? This should be a typo that I'm just going to put. I did not make this error. Yeah, so I'll put this SIC or SEEK there because I did not state that. So protists are eukaryotic organisms. It should have an S. That is not uh, an animal, plant, or fungus. And it should be that are not <laughs> uh, animals, plants, or fungus. Yeah, I don't know why they mix it up. They could have started a protist is a euk eukaryotic organism that is not. Anyways, the whole thing is uh, SIC, SEEK. Uh, so grammatically, uh, just a bit off. While it is likely that protists share a common ancestor, the, uh, the last eukaryotic common ancestor, the exclusion of other eukaryotes means that protists do not form a natural group or clad or clade. Try this. Let's pronounce this one. Clade. Why is it? I don't know why it blew up like that. Peace. Okay. Well, let's try that again. I don't know why the uh, computer just blew up and started pronouncing weird. Let's try this again. Clade. Yeah, so clade. So natural group or clade. So uh, some protists, uh, protists may more closely, uh, may be more closely related to animals, plants, or fungi than they are to other protists. However, like algae, invertebrates, or protozoans, the grouping is used for convenience. Yeah, especially used uh, for stuff that is not uh, stuff that we know, animal, plant, or fungus, or just more common uh, groupings. And then, and it also involves excluding other eukaryotes. Uh, means that protists do not form a natural group. And the grouping is such that some protists are uh, yeah, more closely related to other animals, plants, fungi than they are to each other. So it's more of a grouping one. So as you can see here, there's a wide variety. So diversity of protists over here is just like a, a tree-like uh, uh, branches over here of this protist or this organism. You got some other green stuff in there and then some yellow blob and then some smaller uh, organisms over there. And so on. This is, this is pretty interesting stuff here. Yeah, so they're not animal, plant, or fungus. Can you, can you further? So the, the taxonomy of protists is still changing. Newer classifications attempt to present monophyletic groups uh, based on morphological, especially ultra structural, uh, ultra structural, or structure, or which is a structure visible beyond optical light microscope, and then other groupings based on biochemical or uh, chemio -tax taxonomy, which is classification based on chemical compounds and DNA sequence or uh, molecular uh, yeah, molecular research information. Because protists as a whole are paraphyletic, new systems often split up or abandon the kingdom, instead treating the protist groups as separate lines of eukaryotes. Yes, that's uh, just a little section on protists over there.